Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in today's video, I am doing my preview for Southampton FC versus Manchester United in the Premier League. Kickoff time in the UK, 12:30 p.m. live on TNT Sports. This is the lineup I'll go with: in goal, Andre Nana, right back. I'll go for Diego Delo. Then centre backs probably going to be D Lent. Definitely I would start D Lent. And then Martinez. Then left back position, Mascherari. Well, he will either play left back or right back. And same with Diego Delo, because they can play in any position really. Central defensive field now starts Ugrate, but he'll probably start with Casemiro because Ugrate. It's just joins the football club. So, yeah. And then in the midfield, Kobe Mainu, Ahmed Diallo. Now he has to start. That was a ridiculous decision by the bald fraud last time to bench him. Honestly, I mean, what the actual fuck is the bald fraud doing, man? It's like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Man benching Ahmad to the Liverpool game. What are we doing here? Then central attacking midfield. I'll go for the captain number eight. Then right wing Ganacho. Left wing probably be number ten. Wayne's it. Then up front Sersky. Yes, that's the lineup I go with. Now Manchester United have to get all three points because even a draw against Southampton is nowhere near sustainable. I know Southampton are yet to win in the Premier League this season but you know if we draw this it will be a poor result but my subscriber Hayden Cox who's a Southampton fan he'll be absolutely buzzing if Southampton get a point, and I wouldn't blame him because it'd be a fantastic result against Manchester United. But me, as a Manchester United fan, you know, to me, it will not be acceptable. It will not be sustainable. We have to get all three points because so far, we've only got three points from three matches. Nowhere near good enough, man, for the standards of Man United's football club. Let's get the narrative right here. Let's fucking have it right. But, yeah. But the balls crawled. Look, if we lose this game, I want him out instantly. Now, any hesitation whatsoever, get him fucking sacked, yeah? Just end this nightmare now, for goodness sake. I mean, it's a disgrace. It's a disgrace here, guys. I feel embarrassed, guys. There you go, just checking to see if I turn the windscreen wipers off. I have done, so that's all good. But, yeah, I'm sick and tired of the bald fraud playing pragmatic football. Like, look at 21. He seems to struggle on the bald fraud system. You can use excuse and injuries all you like from last season. But, to me, if we don't win this game, then he's got to go on the spot. Draw that probably keep him in the job for a bit longer, but if we lose, then get rid instantly. How any hesitation whatsoever, get him out here faster before you say, but 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 bosh, but 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 Mr. Joshy J, he's won you two trophies in two seasons. Why do you want this manager out? Trust the process, fuck the process. Yeah, never will I trust the process. I'll go with my own gut instincts, thank you very much. But, but, but then you're only saying balls rolled out for your own PR. There's no PR on this channel. What I say comes from the heart, yeah? Because I care about my football club. Being a fan for 25 years, I just want what's best for my football club. But looking forward to the game anyway, I just hope we can get the job done against Southampton. But they'll be up for it, because they'll be looking for their first win in the season. And obviously, they got Aaron Ramsdale now in goal. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. But anyway, comment your thoughts down below. I will always reply. 
join me this week for Bald Scrawled press conference reaction. Then Sassy match reaction, emergency meeting. Ba ba ba, what's the emergency? It's my emergency, okay? If I want to put that in the title, I will do. And then Sunday, player ratings. And could be having a video very soon for my for my subscriber, Hayden Cox. If he does do what team selection that you're picking that, I'll add it into this video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.